Morning, you. Morning, you. Sleep good. So, why were you staring at me? Me? Mm-hmm. Staring. Yes. Well, I just realize more and more every day how beautiful you are <laughs> and that I would absolutely love to wake up to your face every morning but don't you already wake up to my face every morning not like that Stuart. <laughs> you know what I mean like how then like, you mean me moving in permanently as your housemate? No, I'm being serious. <laughs> Give me a sec. I need to pee. Lila. Yeah? I thought we were supposed to be talking about something. Oh, right. Sorry. I just realized I hadn't decided what to wear to my meeting this morning. I'm back to bed, babe. Together. Sure. Isn't that all we ever talk about now? Yes, but I just noticed that lately you've been invasive of the subject and I'm a little worried. Are you having doubts about us? Yeah. I'm serious. So you won't let me kiss you? What if that's where my answer lies? Listen, I'd still like to hear it. Preferably in words. <laughs> okay. Come. I still want to be with you. And I don't think I've been evasive. I just get easily distracted with other things. And I'm sorry you felt that way. But I do love you. A lot. Hmm? Are you still not convinced? Well, maybe a little action would be nice. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to doubt so much, babe. Have some faith in us. Mm. Preach. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Okay, I need to go shower. <laughs> oh wait, so which one? That one or that one? Uh, I think the, the red one. Yeah, with some black pumps. Yeah, I love it. Huh? <laughs>
क्या है Are you alright? Why do you look like you've just been hit by a truck? Ah. Oh, no. What happened? What's up? Remember I told you that Mira spoke to me to buy that car for him? Yeah. So I picked up a check today. Take it to the bank. Okay, the check bounced. Okay. Bounce game. How? Uzo, I've never been this embarrassed in my entire life. So here's what happened. I pick up the check, right? Myself, I wanted to get from the dealer. Mm -hmm. Went to the bank with the check. Yeah. So the plan was, you know, pay the check, cash it, pay it directly to the company, company account. Then you know, seal it to the dealer, you know, keep things moving. We even drove there in the car. Get there now, only for the cashier to look up and say, I'm sorry, sir, but your check has bounced. Bounced? How? As in, I don't understand. We tried everything. Called me as Popsy, Popsy repeated the cold, cold, cold. This man didn't pick up the phone. Last, last, the dealer should be, I guess, the guy picks up the car. Leaves me there. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's. That's messed up, man. Nathan, man, look. <laughs> I know this might sound somehow. Yeah, but. It's like these guys, they're. They're only messing with you. How, how can't you see that? Now? I know, man, I know. But you know how it is now. I'm really in love with that girl. Yeah, this your love is blind, though. I'm just saying. Like, her family needs to stop taking you for granted and she needs to call them to order. Like, personally, I think that you should give her some space. Well, eh? Anyway, how's Layla? She's fine. You know, she's. I mean, I, I thought that she had been weird lately, you know, but I kind of realized it was all in my head. I've been dropping all these hints, you know, about us getting married, you know, just to get you know, the vibe of how she was feeling. Are you? Are you? Are you alright? You're busy dropping hints up and down because it's treasure island now. So you drop you drop him with him to go to find the treasure. In it. Be doing like Mona. Guy, do a proper proposal, put a ring on that finger. That's the only way it's going to take you seriously. Hey Han. Hey Sugar, how's it going? It's going okay. I'm just about to head out to my meeting. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I'll be hanging with the boys tonight. I forgot to mention. That's fine. Um, will it be a late night? Uh, very likely. Have you got any plans? No, not really. Just go to my meeting. Maybe have lunch with some friends and then I'll just come back home. All right, then. Um, but I need to get back to work. Let me know how much you're missing, okay? All right, will do. Bye, hon. <clears throat> I miss you so much, baby. I'm so sorry. But are you okay though? Alright, um, let's 
Let's go see a movie, okay? Maybe that will cheer you up. Yeah? <laughs> nah, don't worry about the boys. They'll be fine without me. I will uh, shut down here in a few hours and I'll come get you, okay? All right, then. Bye. Thank you, sir. I must say, Nathan, you've done a really good job. I must commend you. Hold on. Thank you. Who's up? How far that website? Uh, progress, sir. Um, I've made the updates as discussed, and glitches have been taken care of. Great. Tomorrow morning, we have a very important meeting. Our investors are coming. It's very important. Yes, sir. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, how good you know? I mean, it's what it is. You know what they say? The reward for hard work is more work. <laughs> How about more money? <laughs> or a vacation? Mm -hmm. Brother, I need a break. <laughs> ah. Come on, don't we all? Anyway, I need to bounce soon, man. Um, I have to go up and tidy up my desk. Yeah, so I can leave here. Mm. Mm. I can bounce like that. <laughs> bounce off a club. Yeah, have you forgotten that we have game night tonight? Yeah, I know, but I have to do a rain check. Wait, look, Lila had a meeting today with a potential client, but turns out that she lost the job, so I'm taking her to the cinema. I'm just to cheer her up. Right, right. So, basically, in essence, what you're saying is that because of woman, <laughs> you're going to sly boys. Hey, no vex now. Nah. You know how to be big. I don't talk about scenes. And just so that we know what we're talking about, I'll say it again. That girl, Lila, she don't press forward for this your head. It's okay. I'll be okay. I will find your money and I go reset. <laughs> See all this negative energy. Yeah. Yeah. See, it's because Nira is using you to place way now that you know my showing off of my woman is doing the most I'll be. Oh, my chest. Ah, you pin up! <laughs> yeah, it's enough, bro. Don't worry, you'll be alright. <laughs> you'll be alright. I'm sorry I made us leave before the movie was over, babe. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's okay, really. Yeah, I don't think it was that great. <laughs> How would you know? We were there barely 10 minutes. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You weren't feeling it, so it must have sucked. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just so so tired. Man, today was really not my day. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was just hoping that we might not have been to help, but I think I was wrong. Well, I really appreciate you trying to help. I'll snap out of it. You are emotional about him, Amy. And I can see that. And you're being selfish, too. But beyond being selfish, you're being foolish. I sense that something's about to go down. I want you to be careful and not drop your guard. I'm not sure. I got a call today. 
<laughs> Not really. I was just thinking about how much I would love a long, hot soak in the tub right now. Do you see that? Yeah. Where's this guy? Is this a joke? Where is this guy? Why, why is the gate open? <laughs> oh my god. Who was shooting at us? Huh? Answer me now. What is going on? Don't stop the car, otherwise you get us both killed. Then tell me what is going on, because I cannot, for the life of me, fathom what just happened. I will tell you. We just need to get somewhere safe first. To a hotel, unless you want to leave a trail of dead bodies behind tonight. This is not a Hollywood movie. Nobody's just gonna walk into a hotel and randomly shoot people in Nigeria. Okay. Tell me, is it every day someone drops a dead body wrapped in a blanket in front of your house and then waits for you to show up and then tries to kill you? Cars on the road, please. <sighs> Wait, you day house. <laughs> She's been special. Oh, nice one. I beg. I want don't gas. I did bring a sign come. We're going to Mushi. Confirming Yankee Echo Mike India 680192334. Operation 63772 compromised. Golf Bravo Echo Mike India. Down. Initiating security protocol. Depend today, in 
I'm off, oh yeah. I'm off. The most people who share now. Mama. Oh, uh, I did, I did. I hmm. beg, we need place to crash. I shall here now, now I'm a small team now. Who go now? Amen, 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 I still want to wait, but my pastor said, Hey, Would you like anything to eat? I Yeah. I need an explanation right now. My name isn't Leela. My name is Yemi. And I'm an undercover security agent sent by your mother to protect you. What do you mean, undercover agent? And which mother? You, I'm an orphan. My parents are dead. Remember? Your adoptive parents, Uzo. Your biological mother is alive. And she's <laughs> involved in something dangerous. So she sent me and a few other people to look out for you. The man whose body was dropped in front of the house was my partner. This is ridiculous. You're not making any sense. It's not supposed to make any sense! I just need you to trust me. It's a lot to take in, I know. But I promise you, I will have answers for you when we get to Zarya. Wait, tomorrow. What? What? Wait. Zarya? And where on earth is that? It's in Kaduna State. Look, no one will think to find us there, okay? <sighs> yes, sir. Perfect, that works. Thank you, sir. Okay. I need you to get some sleep because there's going to be a chopper to pick us up at the naval base at Ikeja tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not going to Zaria. I have an important meeting at the office tomorrow at 8 a.m. Now, whatever this is, I'm sure that when we get to the police station, we can get it. It's like you haven't heard a word I just said. I have an assignment to protect you. My partner is dead because of you. So no, you're not going to any stupid meeting tomorrow morning unless you want to wind up dead as well. So please. Get into this bed and shut your eyes because I need to try to think. Ugh. Okay, you got me guys. <laughs> I've been pranked. <laughs> nice. Nice one, but <laughs> can we stop with the joke now? Leela. Baby. All right, I get it, but this is not funny anymore. 
Hello? Probably a million bed bugs in this thing. You're back. I've missed you too much. <laughs> Can we just wrap this up already? <laughs> <laughs> we have too much to catch up on. Indeed. This is also beautiful, hot stuff. Only the best for my woman. Uzo, that is the sweetest thing ever. What did you just call me? I'm so sorry. I don't know how that happened. That's the third time you're calling me that. Baby. I don't want to hear it. You're in love with him now, aren't you? No, hot stuff. No! So what the hell is going on? Baby girl, I am engaged to you. Uzo, it's just an assignment that we are working on. Since when did I start catching feelings on the job? Since you started sleeping with the assignment. What? Oh, please, don't even do that. I am not sleeping with him. Yes, we share a bed, but we're not having sex. I told him I was saving myself for marriage and nothing has changed. You are emotional about him, Yemi, and I can see that. And you're being selfish too. 
But beyond being selfish, you're being foolish. I told you that we should not take this assignment from the very beginning, but you did not listen. You're not even thinking about how this is affecting us. I really wanted us to see each other and have a nice time together because I have missed you. If I'm being honest, yes, things have been difficult, but... Because you're emotionally invested, Yemi. How can you not see that? <sighs> I thought you were smarter than this. I mean, this, this is not the first time that you're working this sort of job. And you have always kept it together. I've never had cause to worry. But now, right now, I'm worried, Yemi. Well, I think you're just being insecure. <laughs> yep. You're gone. Look, I sense that something's about to go down. I want you to be careful and not drop your guard. Something like what? I'm not sure. I got a call today. I'm still investigating. I'll let you know if I find out anything. But be careful. Get up, Lord, we've been your hand. You're not a strong woman, Sha. Wow, well, all right.
babe. <sighs> I had the most terrible nightmare. And I dreamt that when he came home one day, I found him dead body in front of our house. And someone was shooting at us, and then we had to run. And we went to this shady, shabby looking place in the washing. And then you said you were not really my girlfriend. And I'm not a good security agent. <laughs> Imagine that you, you and undercover security agents. 